Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will talk about a new Lyapunov-based approach to event-trigger control of linear systems. So what is the event-based control? Traditionally, the communication between flat and digital controller performed periodically. This, however, is conservative in terms of communication resource usage. To cope with this problem, the event-based paradigm has been introduced which enforces the triggering between plant and controller to, be, to occur only when necessary and based on a so-called triggering condition. The triggering instance in this case are aperiodic which requires much complicated analysis and design tools. Examples of such systems include uh, battery-operated control systems and also complex network control systems. To better illustrate the idea behind our contribution, uh, we consider simple linear time invariant system together with a state feedback controller which communicates with the plant through an event-based mechanism. We ended up to the following closed loop model in which the measurement error E represents the difference between the current state value and the most recent triggered one. Up to now, there are two main approaches to design triggering conditions. The first method is based on defining a threshold on the admissible norm of measurement error. The threshold can be a function of the state, if constant or mix of them. The main drawback of this scheme is that the triggering takes place whenever the error exceeds the admissible threshold, no matter if the trajectories are converging to the origin or not. The second approach places an upper bound on the Lyapunov function to guarantee the stability of the resulting system. This method also suffers from an oscillatory behavior when the threshold on the Lyapunov function is too conservative. Here you can see our proposed triggering rule, which is structurally similar to the Lyapunov-based method in that it works directly with the state X and the measurement error E rather than their norms. However, contrary to the existing Lyapunov-based methods, it doesn't result in oscillatory response. We call our proposed triggering condition. It has some unknown matrix T to be designed. Here we give a geometric interpretation of the closed-loop uh, trajectories under three different uh, scenarios for the matrix T. So in this case, a new triggering is imposed whenever the trajectory's p-norm increases. As a result, our proposed condition defines constant p-norm level sets in the state space. So as long as the trajectory's p-norm is shrinking, uh, no new triggering is required. The three pictures from left to the right shows uh, one norm, two norm, and uh, also the infinity norm. Uh, form of our triggering condition, which are obtained based on different values of matrix T. So here we summarize the main contributions of our method with respect to the existing literature. The Lyapunov-based triggering condition results in few number of triggerings, whereas the relative type condition results in a smooth asymptotic response. However, our method simultaneously enjoys the benefits offered by both approaches. Finally, we show the efficiency of our method on a numerical example. The left figure shows the intersampling task periods and the right one shows the phase plot. The blue curve stands for the relative type condition and the red one stands for the Lyapunov based one. So, the graphs indicate the existence of a trade-off between the oscillatory behavior and the number of triggerings offered by each method. As you see, under our proposed triggering condition, we obtain both a small number of triggerings as well as good convergence rate. The four color graphs stands for different choices of matrix T. Thank you for your attention.